In the last video, we learned about what traversing the DOM was all about, and we moved from the parent to the child, and that allowed us to select some of the children to manipulate their element. In this video, we're essentially going to reverse what we did in the last video. So we're going to move upwards rather than downwards, we're going to move up. So we're going to get the idea of the first paragraph, and that will allow us to move up, and then we can target the parent node. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So essentially, again, like I said, we're just going to reverse what we did in the last video. And that's another way to traverse the DOM. You can go up, you can go sideways, and you can go down. So let's take a look at the code here. And I've inserted an ID here because we need to target one of these paragraphs, and then that will allow us to get the parent node. So let's flip over to the JavaScript code and we'll fill this in. So I'll go ahead and copy and paste the first line here. And you can see, as I said, we're starting out with a child. So that's the first object that we're gonna create. And we're gonna go ahead and get the ID. And of course it is P1. And now of course we can specify the parent node. And so we create our parent object. We use the child object we just created. And then we can just specify parent node. And that will give us this div right here. Now you will remember in the last video we had to specify which child node we wanted to target. That's not the case here because there is only one parent. So it will only target this parent node. We don't have to specify a position. And so that's kind of nice. And then we'll do what we did in the last video. We're just going to change the text color to blue. And uh, we know all about what this line does now. So let's go ahead and save everything up and let's make sure this works. And you will remember, since we are setting the color of the text to blue, all of these child elements should inherit that from the div. And so the color will change for all of the text in this section. And it did. That's what we expected. Now you can also specify parent element. But again, there is no difference because it'll just pull the element here. It's one and the same. Same node, same element. We don't have to specify any type of position or anything. So it should work exactly the same. So we'll just save this here and then we'll go ahead and run this and we should get the same results. And we did. Okay, we will do one more video on traversing the DOM. And actually, we're going to go from sibling to sibling to sibling. You can go sideways, like I've mentioned. So we'll talk about that in the next video. See you guys then.